I'm gonna make 12 short films in 12 months. Not just me. I'm gonna start from the beginning. If it fits! I think the thing that fascinates me most about filmmaking is how you can take technology and a deep, a deeper truth to a shared experience and how you can take those two things, put them together, and then try and communicate that to a mass of people. I want to make a feature film. And I want to do that. I want to do that at least one time in my life. And if that goes really well, and I still love it, I want to do it many more times in my life. And so it was about six or seven months ago that I decided I needed to get better at making films. So I set out on a two-year plan where I would, in a really focused way, try to achieve whatever experience I thought I needed to head into a feature film. And then after about a month of that two-year plan, I was learning a lot, I was improving a lot, but I just kind of felt alone and in a vacuum. And filmmaking is super collaborative, so that was one of the things I needed experience in. I needed more experience collaborating. And at some point when I made this feature film, I thought it would be best if at some point someone saw it. And I thought what might help that if I start sharing my work on the internets so that some people may take interest in it. And if you've been following along at all, you would know that this is the time when you saw extreme output, especially on Instagram. I was posting new content every day, especially Game of Thrones week. <laughs> Guys, I know season 8 was kind of a letdown, but there are days, I just miss it. Anyway, it was great. I loved making all that stuff, but it turned out that I was so busy making little things for the internet, I wasn't doing the making movies part of my plan. Which, needless to say, is an integral part of the plan to make movies. Which brings us to this moment in which I decided to go all in and make 12 short films in 12 months. A project in which I lovingly call the Short Film Project. But I will not be alone in this project. Joining me will be a group of super talented, super awesome people. I would list them now. John Poveromo. It's the short Italian dude with the hair, right? He's the only one wearing a leather jacket in 80 degree heat in Los Angeles. You know, I'm a comedian. It's John Poveromo, by the way. John and I went to high school together. He is now a stand-up comedian and writer. Another man that I went to high school with. That sounds weird. Another person that I went to high school with is Greg Johnson. Greg is an awesome artist. Paintings, drawings, puppetry. And then I got a couple of guys that I worked with at a little place called Bahama Breeze Island Grill. I was bartending, they were serving Bradley Tyler Hawthorne, who is a filmmaker not unlike myself, and Timothy Anderson, hey, how's it going? who runs his own wedding photography slash video business. He is killer getting nice pretty images in a camera, and who also has his own YouTube series going into the tips and tricks and behind the scenes of the wedding photography biz. Business. That's it, biz. If you're getting married, go hire him. And then Maddie Bay Rudy. Maddie Bay Rudy. Bay Rudy. And then Maddie Bay Rudy. Said your last name too many times. And then Maddie Bay Rudy, who has a background in production, who I currently work with at a marketing agency called Traffic Builders. I'm gonna link to all their various social media and websites down below, so go check them out. But that's it. We had our first meeting on Monday. We hashed out some details. We decided on the concept for our first short. The ball is officially rolling. And, like the good book says, Documenting instead of creating. I will be documenting this entire process. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure to check the description and follow any of the appropriate social channels of your choosing that fit best into your life. And even if you don't follow the whole process, make sure to check back September 30th when our first short will premiere. I'll see you next week.